Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some balloons. It, it's it been a while. Uh, there's a new hero, there's a number of things. I played some co-op, if you haven't seen that. And now I'm back because I'm kind of bored. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a doozy. They zigzag, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can only put monkeys on these, these spots. This is not bad right here. This is, this is a location with a hell of a lot of potential, if I can find something to really make use of it. Question, boat? Ah, there is, I could put a boat there. So that's kind of useful to know. Okay, now, you'll have to forgive me. It has been quite some time since I last played this, so I've kind of forgotten some of the nuance. Uh, but we're just going to try and make it work as best as possible. Uh, let's see. Where even put this sucker? I guess I'll just put it there. Uh, unfortunately, not the greatest. Oh no. It moves. Okay. Okay, Seeking Shuriken should help tremendously. This might be one of those where I have to roll snipers just to have a chance. We'll see how it goes. I mean, currently the Ninja Monkey is kind of enough. Those initial lives lost are a giant pain in the butt, but maybe I'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, I had I had concerns and I will continue to have concerns. I'll have to I'll have to think on how I wanna get this one to work. I want to get the hero down. I, I want to see how Psy works. Because I know they have global... They have global coverage of their attacks, so I can just put them wherever I, wherever I want. And that seems like that that's going to be kind of helpful. I'm just going to put them there. There we go. Okay, attack slightly faster... I, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to want to probably swing a sniper. Okay, and I'm going to focus you on strong. This way we can pop lead. Now, do we go for... Do we go for supply drop? Or what? We've already got a decent amount of self-detection. So, I think I might actually have this be the anti-Moab. That seems like my safest option. Okay, so that, that looks to be a, a shorter range AoE. Mixed feelings on it, but it's okay. Okay, so not so far so good. I'll probably want to look into a little bit of Econ, but right now I'm kind of... I'm doing comfortable. Because we've, we've got anti-stealth, and we've got... We can at least touch lead. Other thing I'd probably want to get is maybe a pair of boomerang monkeys, just kind of on the sides, and then some boats, and then stick like a monkey village in the middle. I know alchemists are also... Of potential to combine with the ninja monkey. I have mixed results whenever I go that direction, so I don't know. Yeah, let's let's just go for deadly precision. Just kind of work our way down that. This is frankly, this is working. Uh 
uh, which means I'm going to get wrecked on wave 63. It's just inevitable. It seems like having a small army of snipers would probably be my best bet, just due to the moving, stature, moving nature of this stage. Like, I could mess with helicopters, which would be the other option. But the problem is, it would probably just end up ping-ponging back and forth there, maybe eventually getting getting to the right location. Okay, there we go. Yeah, main Moab is going to be a little, little pricey to get towards. But I think we'll be okay. And if we get that, then we're at least somewhat comfortable. I might want to look into Bloon Jutsu just for the, uh... Uh, let's see. Look into Bloon Jutsu just for the initial coverage. Because we're going to start getting spammed pretty hard here. In fact, I'm going to lose, like, right now. Damn it. Um, I think I'm going to go back. I don't... I like the idea of Sai. I might want to do Etienne. Or Ben Gammon. <sighs> Problem is, Ben Gammon's kind of expensive, but quickly becomes worth it. Etienne... I just... Etienne seems like it might just be a little bit better. We'll see how this goes. Okay, slight change of pace. I went with Etienne, put it in the center, and then a pair of boomerang monkeys on the side. Boomerang monkeys handle volume pretty dang well, and with Etienne, we don't have to worry about stealth. The biggest issue is the moving stage and just leveraging what I've got. And also, anti-lead. I know I could go for hot, hot rangs, but probably just want to go for a sniper. Because just having that, that little bit of extra coverage would go a very, very long way. Okay, when you it's strong. There we go. Because, yeah, I can rather cheaply get the boomerang monkeys up to the point where they can uh, not fully shred both sides, but have a decent chance at knocking them out. There we go. This song is really good. What song is this? Oh, Disconnected, Chipsel. Is this a new album from Chipsel? I have no idea. I swear I've never heard that one before, but, like... I clearly must must have, maybe. Okay. This is so far so decent. Probably just snag glaives on both sides. And then maybe think about bionic boomerang. I think I might want to focus on the sniper for the time being. Ooh. Yeah, just just for that extra cleanup. The the boomerangs aren't quite there. I just have to decide if I want to go for uh, a couple of different things. Yeah, do I want to try glaive ricochet for once, or just go for speed, or? I'm just going to go for a shrapnel shot sniper monkey with speed. It's not perfect, but that should really help. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about lead. Everything is somewhat falling in line. Uh, I'd say probably next thing we should work on is anti-Moab capabilities. Well, and it's looking good. Let's go large caliber. I'll, I'll think about the boomerang monkeys. We did get shredded by all those pinks previously. 
I just, I wish I remembered what wave that was on. I mean, I guess I could slow it down for a little while. That's not the end of the world. If it looks like I'm getting overwhelmed, we pop the drone button. It ain't this wave, though. Not ain't this one, either. I think it's supposed to be this wa wave. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. I think that... I think that was it. I really like Etienne's drone swarm. It is probably one of the more immediately effective use abilities in this game. I could be wrong. It just It just seems like such kind of a, a no-brainer. You you are set to strong, yeah? Perfect. Alright, we're holding it. I'm trying to hold on to the... Hold the drone swarm in reserve. For when the Moab shows up. And if we're lucky, I can get just enough money for a main Moab. But I could be... I could be wrong. That's why I haven't gone for it. Nope, there we go. I think I'll go for Bionic Boomerang. Oh, there we go. So, the Moab was actually a bigger issue than I thought it was going to be. Alright, uh, I'll just make it work or something. Okay. I only just want to get a uh, bouncing bullet next. And then I think maybe we get a pair of submarines. Okay, there's a bouncing bullet. That should keep things righteously locked down. I could go for a supply drop. Let's see. I I could go for it. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna benefit more. Let's see, longer range, advanced intel. Do we go for the guns? Yeah. Let's just go for that. These guys have pretty dang good coverage. Ooh, and we've got the UAV. Okay, cool. So that should give us kind of a nice buffer for a little while. I think next up we save up for a supply drop. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the income. I always feel like I should. But like, frankly, I, su supply drop always seems like the safest financial option for me, just because the uh, Supply Drop Sniper Monkeys are just so incredibly solid. With limited drawbacks. I know they don't make quite as much money as, like, uh, just like a full-on uh, banana farm, but, like, we need the dangage. I guess I really I should just be alternating between these abilities at this point. Uh, let's see. Main Moab is a little expensive. Lead Sniper, not so much, though. Are both of these? Yeah. So, next up probably just maxing these out. And then after that, probably just more sniper monkeys. Oh, let's see. Cuz yeah, I I think we've got this. Right, I should be I should be alternating between Etienne's two different abilities. Cuz I think we've I think we've got enough. Slow down a bit. What was I going to buy? Oh, you. There we go. I'm just going to load that up. Then we might want to hold it onto both of the abilities kind of in reserve as we get closer to 63.
Big maybe on that one. Okay, let's get another one of these guys. Yeah, they don't have anti lead capabilities, but they don't need it. Okay. There we go. And I might consider getting one of the really fast ones. So here's the question. Is Wave 63 going to ruin me? I sincerely hope it doesn't. I would like to actually win a level. It's part of the reason why I stopped playing, at least for a little while, that there's just kind of this, this feeling of, like, trying and failing over and over and over again. And it was starting to get a little exhausting. Especially on harder modes. Because normal mode I found to be just generally too easy. Um, and it ended too fast. And what I should have done was just thrown everything on endless mode. And I, I kind of stand by that. And I lose. Damn it. <laughs> I just can't win. I I loaded it up as much as I could and it just didn't matter. I I think what I needed was more anti lead that they popped too early. And I had too many guys trying to focus on clearing the chaff. Uh no, looks like it's time for me to just accept my limitations and play on medium. It's fine. This game's hard anyway, like once you get to this point. Oh, but you know what? Let's go back home. Uh, we do have a new monkey to play with, so I should probably use that new monkey. Okay. There we go. Huh. <sighs> The problem is this ends at 60, so I just can kind of do whatever I want. Not a lot of range on this one, is there? Well, I guess I'm just going to do that. <laughs> just to start with Psy. Just make it work. Yeah, I'll just throw this, throw this on Endless. Maybe at some point, especially once I have more monkey knowledge, I'll really put a lot of time and effort into other things. Hmm. Not quite the uh, the mainstay I was looking for. Well, in that case, I should get something to compensate. Some things to compensate? I wonder if I would have actually had a better time if I had replaced the... If I had replaced the boomerang monkeys with druids on that last round. Because druids with stealth detection and just basic lightning could probably do a fair bit of harm to wave 63. I mean, it seems like something to mess around with. It, I think even thinking about it, the whole failure state really doesn't even bug me that much. I, I think this is just something I often have trouble with with tower defense games. It's the repetition of like, oh man, uh, I lost. Time to do that whole stage over again. Uh, that's why I was talking so fervently about like the potential for... Uh, for like saving and quick saving in this game because like I, it would save me just so much time and stress if I could start from like wave 20 you know it kind of a checkpoint wave where it, you can go back and start over if you wanted to but you know say say if you've got the first like 30 waves perfected and you want to just make some minor adjustments like it would 
it would save me so much time, and I'd lose nothing, generally. I mean, obviously, like, I might not mess around with as many alternative, you know, paths, but maybe that's okay. What else do I invest in? The big issue is just the moving level really does kind of restrict me to a very specific subset of units for better or worse. And I'm not entirely sure what to roll with. And the druids don't seem to be too bad. I'll be honest, I think I like Etienne a little bit better than Sai. Let me take a look. Attacks faster. Stun wave. Sai's attack can hit another balloon if they're close, so it's an AoE. Penetrate through lead. Can now destroy ceramics. Target two different balloons at once. Balloons faster. Pulses three times. Not even purple balloons cannot resist. Targeting and destruction of Moabs. Ooh, we should probably worry about that. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately with the way this level is laid out, there's pretty much... I have no choice but to use snipers. I, I think that rankles a little bit. That, for me, I love the experimentation, saying like, Hey, I'm gonna try this build this time. Uh, and maybe, maybe you can perfectly fine on this stage, but it, it's just looking at it, it's just like, yeah, this really does seem like... Uh, go snipers. They're the only thing that can reliably hit the entire stage. I mean, we got a couple of other options. We could, we could straight up, like, roll Spectre. And maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I'll probably just get our, our basic anti-ceramic, anti-Moab sniper. But I'm curious if I'd actually be better off, specifically with even faster firing, instead of me Moab, it was one of the big issues that we ran into on 63 on that last take was that uh, interesting yeah we don't have any other anti-stealth that actually is a concern uh, anyway one of the issues we ran into on that last iteration was that we had a bunch of ceramics or we had, a we had a bunch of I guess it was actually just leads that were making it you know down to here before they popped at which point I just couldn't deal with the uh, the fallout yeah, speaking of the fallout this got uh, concerning I'm actually very much in the doghouse. I don't know. I I think I also just gravel uh, gravitate back, gravel back, Ugh. gravitate back to Etienne mainly just for that uh, that anti stealth bonus, which is huge, and then Benjamin just for the sheer raw money. And then snipers just for the sheer utility. Let's see, do we go Bouncing Bullet or Main Moab? In this case, Main Moab. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, I might want to consider getting a Sniper Monkey with Bouncing Bullet and aim it at high damage. Or at aim it at strong. There we go, I can word. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. I don't think I've ever played a game where I'm more out of sorts. 
this far in. You know, normally I, I kind of have a, a decent idea of what I'm doing. And here I'm just kind of like, I guess I'm going to try this this time. And then it fails and I'm like, well, that was weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which one of these? Centered path. Oh, let's see. Do I want to try... We don't have a whole lot of... Uh, no, no, no. We have a decent amount of anti-stealth. It's not like a ridiculous amount. But it's there. It... He does have a decent amount of stun. Like, I'll give him that. Okay, do we just do kind of whatever. I mean, nice part is we've almost won this. Let's see. Do I just go for a supply drop? I guess I might as well. Yeah, let's... Have him focus strong, too. Just kind of work with that, because... I'm not actually sure... I, I'm pretty sure the faster attacking variety of this is just better. I'm just trying to think of easiest ways to deal with, like, a bunch of stealth... Uh, stealth lead just hanging out. Let's see. Well... We're kind of okay. Could also look into Druid of the Storm. You know what, actually? I probably should. Because I know Ball Lightning is real good. I don't usually go for it just because it's kind of expensive, but I should probably do it anyway. Okay. So, I will say, going forward, this is probably not going to be a daily series. This is probably going to be the game, one of those games. I I think I'm actually going to just try and switch over to this in general. Um, but switching my channel slightly over to just like a... I have a bunch of footage for various games and I just kind of put out an episode uh, here and there for the games that like I really want to play. Maybe? I don't know. It's, it's a tough one. Right, I should be doing supply drop. Keep forgetting that's a thing. We also have this, which I don't know what this does. What does that do? Okay. Scream throws balloons into chaos. Gotcha. Well, we're not losing yet, so that's a good sign. Like, we'll clear me uh, medium difficulty, no problem. I'll probably throw us on Endless, and then we'll just lose to Wave 63 anyway. <laughs> uh... Is what it is. I mean, I could try the Psychic Scream and just see what that does. Maybe we'll get lucky and it just absolutely shreds. Grab that. Another supply drop. Oh, we're not on wave 63 yet. Here it is. Oh. Okay. That was pretty good. Let's see. Seeing as I've got him there, I might as well actually use him. Probably also, you know, start generating some money. The stun potential of Psy is actually really solid. I haven't really acknowledged that too much. Uh...
Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the missiles. Oop. Okay. It's got a little dicier. Now we're holding. Bit of a surprise on that one. Uh, let's see, what do I invest into next? The big issue is just range. Oh. I'm gonna have this front and center. As long as it doesn't move on me. Okay. So, I think I might want to go for... Probably just even faster production and then just spike mines. I was considering just going for duration on them, but I don't think that's that helpful. Maybe I should have gone for long-lived. I'm not entirely sure. Oh well, too late now. I'm committed. I just think for this one specifically, it's not that helpful. That's kind of helpful. I might, I might want to consider getting more. Or just saving up for Spectre. I feel like that's probably going to be the other super helpful thing, but yeah, I should have gone for long-lived spikes. Eh, I don't know, they were kind of useful there. Oh, gosh, what else do I even save for or get? Unsure. Some engineer monkeys could probably go a long way. Uh, probably get Sniper Elite first. Just for the hell of it. There we go. Oh, that's weird. So, wildly unrelated to everything going on, or anything going on, uh, I have my air conditioning set to auto. Usually I just, uh, well, not air conditioning, the, uh, the HVAC system. Usually I'm just cycling air in my house constantly. Uh... Yeah, we lose. Oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so I actually wouldn't have... Ooh, I wouldn't have even beaten uh, Wave 80 with this strat. Well, it's good to know. At least we beat something. Even if it's on medium difficulty. But frankly, I between Sanctuary Bloody Puddles... Puddles. I, just a number of these. Like, gonna be a little tough. Oh, I never even finished Quad. Damn. Alright, well, either way, I will see you all in the next episode of Bloons. It might be a couple of days out, I might mix it with some other things. I might even just kind of do like an alternating schedule with another tower defense game. Go back to maybe Dungeon Warfare or Gem, uh, Gemcraft, because both of those games are pretty A-plus tier as well. I think I just want to have more tools, uh, toys in my toy box to play around with. And uh, the longer I play Bloons specifically, the more used to every single tower I get, and it's like, oh, but... I want new things, is what it is. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.